is a lightweight bout between Edson Barboza and Kevin Lee. Very interesting stylistic matchup forthcoming here. You gotta think this fighter is trying to figure out how to get the fight to the ground at all costs to use his beautiful guard cutting ability. Cuts it as well as anybody in this division. And it's not just the technique. It's the athleticism that allows him to be so successful and get that advantageous position on the ground. A lot of guys just haven't seen seamless transitions like the ones brought to the table by this young man. We'll see if this fight goes to the canvas, if he has the advantage we expect him to have. This guy has devastating power to his kicking technique, whether it's to the legs, the body, or the head. If one of those lands, you've got real problems. Born and raised in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, here is the talented striker Edson Jr. Barboza lives in the United States, trains under Ricardo Almeida, and he is the owner of one of the best knockouts in UFC history when he KO'd Terry Adam at UFC 142, Edson Barboza. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch inside the octagon. He closes the distance well, and he's always in a position to attack and defend. for this lightweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with similar height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamazaki. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's an easy first. Fighting! This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Kevin, the Motel Phenom Lee! And now with the New Zealand opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 5 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a Nova by Borgo, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and son, Junior Barbosa. All right, I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming. The fans have been anticipating this for a long time. And it is going to go down right now. Well, it is a venue that has hosted some of the biggest fights in combat sports history. And we are back for more. Ready to go with live action underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. That was like a fastball pitch. Straight punch gets through. It appears a cut has opened up on his cheek. Good punch. Oh, he's at him. He's got him up here. He didn't miss with that uppercut. Lee's kick is blocked. Big shot. 
straight punch. Barbosa goes for the clinch now. Looks like a recovery mechanism here, Joe. The left hook hits home. And both guys really throwing with authority. Barbosa's worked in that arm well. Double underhooks now. of this one. And he gets reversed. And there's the single. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Nice sweep. Beautiful reversal. Effective strike there by Edson Jr. Barbosa. He's moved into half guard here, working from there. His opponent's pressed up against the cage. Reversal here, nicely done. And busy as he looks to improve position here. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Yeah, he's taking oh, into that leg kick. He's got him right here. Big shots! Oh, huge shot there. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Masaki is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 46 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Edson Jr. Barbosa. So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure. His next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.